Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, and welcome to my super secret gunpowder facility, and my small legion of anklos. Ha <laughs> ha As you can see, I was up last night on one of my lovely Ark binges, as I do, and I now have a small, uh, well, rather large herd of anklos of various levels and names. As usual, I have been kind of posting on Twitter like a madman about them, and all of the names you see in front of you, other than Cabbage, have all been um, given to me. Oh, Cabbage and of course Raptor Bait have been named via Twitter, so thank you all who provided the names. I had so many people suggesting names, it was actually quite a lovely thing. So today, Sir and Sweats, we're doing two things. First of all, we're making more gunpowder. As you can see, I have got all these lovely animals together because of one reason. And also I've got a fire permanently burning and the mammoth because I am mass producing gunpowder on a scale I've never made before. And my lord, do we have a lot of it. <laughs> we are actually, our biggest thing at the moment, which is slowing us down, believe it or not, is charcoal. The amount of stone we're getting and flint we're getting from the um, anklo is ridiculously good. So actually I do need to make another campfire fairly soon. Otherwise, well, we're just going to be here forever now, aren't we? Uh, do, do you have stone by any chance? No. Who are, where's the one I've been mounting recently? There you are. Hello, Cabbage. How are you? You're my precious little mount. You do have some stone. Thank you. Is that enough to make a campfire, though? Um, it certainly is. Excellent. Wonderful. In fact, so, yeah. This way I'll be getting all my gunpowder from, and I'm getting a lot more as we continue. Now, the... F now, the four anklos at the back, other than um, Cabbage there, actually, no, including Cabbage there, I should say, were all got at, at, at one time. I wasn't actually intending to get any more anklos. However, however, as fate intervened, I found all four of them in one spot. All male as well. It seems that the game really hates me um, getting multiple of, you know, different genders for the mate bonuses. Let's pull this in here and let this burn out while I'm gone, because today, like I say, we're going to be making the automated gun as the secondary objective. So right now I am still trying to make as much gunpowder as possible because we've got a lot of metal as well. Um, thankfully, I think Helga... Where are you, Helga, my dear? There you are. Helga currently has quite a bit of metal on her. Indeed, yes indeed she does, because I've been bringing all of them at once, etc, and it's been quite fantastic. So. Yeah, these are awesome. I really love these animals. They're such good harvesters. I mean, just if you just watch, there you go, there's one metal. There's two metal. As you can see, I've just got enough now for a good almost, wait, I think it's two flint per spark powder recipe. However, you get two spark powder out of it. So I essentially just made a good 10 spark powder from that one harvest. So as you can imagine, can you please stop doing that? Titan's in the right place to do that. So as you can imagine, I'm getting a lot of spark powder right now, very, very easily. There we go, just put that in, and we'll make some more gunpowder afterwards. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to be upgrading this soon, having the spiked walls, I think. So if any of you wish to name our little, um, our little gunpowder facility here, feel free to in the comments below, as always. But for now, we're going off on a journey. Hello, Amazon. That's why I brought you over here. We're going back to the water, because we need to get some more silica pearls. At least I think they're called silica pearls, or silicon pearls. I know they're essentially meant to be made out of silicon, which makes complete sense, and um, as such they're named something like silica. By the way, I keep on coming down here and occasionally there's just like a random dead trike or dead some... Did anyone else just see the falling raptor? No, it was an Argentavis. Please don't be one of my Argentavises that just fell off the side. It has happened earlier. For some reason, Hope fell off for no reason. I don't really know why. No, definitely a random Argentavis. What level, though, are you? In case I want to actually tame you. 36. Not quite high enough for me to um, bother. Okay, so today, yep, we're going to be working on that. Because also, I found out, um, after Googling it, the automated turret you can actually pick up and place again. So I can test it out on the in the main base and then bring a, a dilo for testing using one of my lovely birds. So, I'm going to go over... Oh, yes. I found a high-level dodo. But, um... I've been tr I've been looking for a level 100 um, dodo for a while now. I just can't find a high level one for some reason. I keep finding high level Fiomia. Ooh, Grim, you're male, but you laid an egg. When are they going to fix that? So at least I can start making kibble, I suppose. Wow, wait, 12. Grim, please hold on to your egg. I don't want to use it just yet. So yeah, um, I will now play the clip of me um, grabbing those four lovely. And close, and then we'll come back when I'm actually at the sea. 
Also, I'm still coughing quite a bit, so expect a few jump cuts while I am um, recording. Hello, Fiomia. What level are you? 24. Okay. Where's... Where's my bird? The bird I was using. I had it down here. It wasn't Grim. It was um, the new one. Oh, regardless. Back in a second, Sir and Sirettes. I'll find her. <laughs> I found her. Okay. Now for real. Be right back. Well, here we are finally, back at the original hunting cabin, which has been very, very neglected in the past few, um, well, honestly, weeks. But here we are with our lovely pet Derp. Hello, Derp. I'm sorry for leaving the saddle on you. That can't have been comfy. And I'll get you some meat now. Okay? Okay. And then there's Cookie and apparently a wild Ichiosaurus, just, an Ichiosaurus, rather, has came here just to kind of say hi. Oh, my lord. That's a lot of spoiled meat. Think about all, all the narcotics I can make with that. Well, I don't really need that. Um, don't worry, we'll kill a shark or something while we're out. There we are. Okay, come on, Cookie. I would take derp, but sadly derp, well, derps. Also, I am, I do apologise for how quiet it was early on. Oh, look at the itches. Wow, since they have um, lowered the spawn rate of the Megalodons, these are so common. A level 72, are you kidding me? We need some meat right now. So for those who have never seen um, Taming of an... Oh, don't say... Okay, good. I thought I hurt it then. So yeah, for those who have never seen the Taming of one of these lovely creatures, one of the Ickies, this is how you do it. It's quite simple. You make sure the meat is in the far right of your hot bar. You walk up to them and go, here you go. There's some yums. This will probably take some time because this is such a high level. What level are you? I mean, how much depth... Stay still. By the looks of it, very little, okay. Yeah, we need some um, prime meat. I'm not going to bother with this until I've killed some sharks. So, we need some pearls, and I've got a good feeling that if we, if we went to the cave, which was close by, we could most likely um, simply harvest that again, as I couldn't, as I very much imagine it's respawned by now with the stuff. Honestly, I'm, 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 I'm honestly after a shark to kill rather than the coal. Now, I can't remember for the life of me where the cave was, however, so I might need to Google that. It was something like this. I remember it being quite a large formation. It was quite close to the edge. I think it was a, it was just south. Do I... Oh, there it is. It generally bugs. No, is this it? don't think it is. 
Yeah, do I, do, 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 um, do I need oil right now? I don't think I do. But it'd be a shame to not harvest it now I'm here. Yep, I love that stone. There we are. All the lovely oil in the world. Oh, nope, more stone, my lord. So much stone from this one. Don't really need that right now. That's going to weigh us down. How much air do I have left? Not that much. Okay, let's have a quick look around there. Is that a shark? I think that's a shark. Ooh, are you pearls or are you... Nope, you are the, 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 annoying co the annoying coral. What level are you, sharky? Not that it matters, you're too slow to really hit me much, but still. Dolphins are scary, you know. Just saying. Also, the fact I've um, leveled um, Cookie's melee damage over and over again kind of makes it even scarier. Stay still. Nope. I'm pressing backwards. Now stay still. Okay, I need oxygen quite badly, so let's go. Whee! Yep, there's me drowning. I'll be fine. I'm not that far off the um, surface. Also, really, really fast animal, thankfully. There we go. Okay, so back in a second once I've googled and looked for that cave, because I really want to go to that cave again. I can't quite remember where it was. I think, if I remember correctly, if we go by the the water's edge here, it was at the edge of this, on the map, let's just um, get off the mount for a second, it was basically here, but the map was wrong, so it's basically where I am now, I think. Hmm... If I can't find it soon, I'll probably just skip. Oh, so it turns out I was correct. This was the cave, but the problem is I didn't see any um, I didn't see any pearls or anything. Oh, good, the uh, the um, lighting bug's fixed. Ah, oh, they haven't respawned. That's actually quite surprising. I thought they might have. So either we go to a different cave, or we just stick close to the bottom and just pick up pearls from the floor. Honestly. You can find quite a lot of pearls just on the floor randomly, so I might just do that instead, as the closest cave is quite far south. Is there any over here? Yes, there is. Aha! Ooh. Okay, good. I thought that might have been a bugged out rock again, but it wasn't. Because I may have thought this fish was a rock. There we go. Five from you. I think what I'll do is I'll collect about 200 more pearls, because then I definitely have enough, because I needed just over 200 if I'm correct for the full... Actually, no, was that 200 including the electrical generator? I can't quite remember. Come on, come to me. Order state, there we go. Good cookie. Hello, oil. Goodbye, oil. So much oil is being lost to the water constantly. Okay, I've reached the edge again. And we're a bit low on oxygen, so I'll go up in a second. Aha! After I've harvested these. Yeah, I don't think... Unless you're like on a multiplayer server where um, where resources are a bit contested, I really don't think you ever need to go to a like, underwater cave. It's just... Unless you really need crystal. That might be... Yeah, if, unless you really need crystal and you're more water um, orientated in your gameplay, as, as in you've not got many flyers and stuff. I think that's just the coral. Yes, yeah, it's just coral. Also, guess who harvested the shark? Oh yeah, a li little cookie here is happy, and I'll give a I'll, I'll give a nice prime meat to Derp when I get back. Cause I'm a lovely person like that. How many have I got now? I've got a grand total of 58 pearls already. Okay. I'll probably just um skip ahead now unless something interesting happens very very soon. We return triumphantly with a gift for Derp and pearls for myself. Hello, Derp. How you doing, sweetie? Okay, let's give you some prime meat, and that way well, you'll be happy for a long time and some regular meat, because why not? I may have killed a lot more sharks and leveled up my lovely little cookie there. Hello, Derp. How you doing, buddy? Here's some of that. Oh, I, I do love Derp. It's like the ultimate pet animal, this like silly little one. Oh, if I could give you a hugging game, I would. Right, there is a command, isn't there, for um, different different emotes, but they're not, um, it hasn't got hug. Hug, I saw it before. Before we go, hey, first of all, I managed to get 226 pearls. And before I go, though, I want to see if, if any of these dodos are on high enough level to take home. I don't know why I want, want high level dodos, but I kind of do. Because if I'm going to have dodos for eggs, I may as well have them high level. Level 4. Level 2, I'm going to assume the last one just ran off was also low level then. Ah, okay, well, 
I'll grab one anyway because literally I can just grab one. <laughs> I'll take it back and I'll tame it when we get back because dodos, believe it or not, fairly easy to tame. They take one um, arrow to knock out, although it takes the full length of the arrow, and then it takes about 20 berries to tame, so yeah. Back in a second when we get started, when we get started on the work towards the automated gun. We return to Memorial Plateau, where our little baby Dodo here is having a nice sleep and a few berries to eat. Nah. And I, I think I'm going to start storing the um, Dodos up here, have a little pen for them or something eventually. Oh, there's so much I need to do still, this game, honestly, so much to do. Okay, so let's figure out what, what we need to do then for the gun. So I know I'll need a bit more metal, but that just means I need to get the metal from what... I'll name you later. From one of the um, Anklos. How do you pronounce that? So, things I always mess up, all of them, but things I mess up particularly badly, is the... Where are you, my beautiful little critter? The Ankylosaurus. So it's Saurus, yes? Okay, it's okay. the Ankylo, Ankylo. Ankylosaurus, and then the... This, see, I want to call it Itchy, but people keep saying it's Icky. It's like... Itch this. I don't even know how to do that, so I just call it Icky now. So those two, I am still messing up, and I'm aware of this, and I'm trying to get better. Don't worry, I will get there eventually. So let's figure out what we need then. Let's put the pearls in, first of all. We've got loads of them. So that should be enough. So, weapon... Was it in electronics? Or st structures, electrical, defences, there we go. Automated, da -da -da. so we need 70 electronics. That's the only thing we need the pearls for. So, back to electronics then. How do we make the electronics? The electronics are made with metal ingots and pearls. We need three... So, so yeah, we can now make enough. That's fantastic. We just need more metal. So we've already got that one sorted. So we'll go and do that first. We'll do it in parts. We don't need to do all of them at once. Do I have any spe... That's bad 13... What do, uh, what do I even have pearls in there for? Sometimes I put stuff down I just completely forget where it was. Okay, so... Put that for a second. So, yeah, we definitely need to get the metal from down there. We definitely need to get the metal from down there. So I'll take, um... Dusk, is that you down there? That's a... Dodo's follow... Oh god, Dodo, you're going to die. I I kind of forgot they auto follow. So, Torch, you're coming with me to, to, to carry some white. Dusk, you and me are going to go get some metal. And we're going to put the Dodo back in his rightful place. Did I grab him? Did I grab him? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Don't fall... I mean, even if he falls off, it's okay, because as, as, as long as they're not mounted, they don't take damage. And plop you back down. And let's see if we can aim at you solely. I'm pressing the button. Ugh. Not in range to, to make him stop following because he's too small. Stop. There we go. I was doing the right one. This wasn't working. Because it, it's T to follow, then the, then Y to um, stop. A single. Okay. Let's get over there, get the metal and some wood from the um, cabin. From the um, wardrobe over there, from the storage thing, Milo. What's it called the box, the huge box. So we get all the metal sorted out. Then we'll we'll also need some stone. So we are going to do, need to do some stone uh, mining as well. But let's just get again. We'll just do it one at a time. Otherwise, it'll get too confusing. That fire's still going. That's how slow wood burns, by the way, Sir and Reds. That slowly. Both fires actually are going still. Well, may as well make some um, gunpowder one here, I suppose. Hello! Torch, you're kind of in the way. Torch, you're... Get over here, Torch. Torch! Moot. Torch! I thought you were following Dusk. Not me. This way it should get up a little bit. Uh, animals! So, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep this bit in, by the way, just so everyone sees how annoying this can be sometimes. Now. You follow Dusk now instead. Okay, that's good. That way you don't follow me. So if I put Dusk down here, you'll go to Dusk. There we go. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Let's... Let's make some more gunpowder, shall we? Because gunpowder is nice and light, but everything else... It's funny, because the things which don't make gunpowder are exceedingly heavy, then you make... Then you finish it off, and it's actually quite easy. Okay, so we need wood. Just melt. Um, is that all the wood? Wow, we actually managed to burn most of the wood. That's impressive. But I'll still be taking some of that just to burn. Okay, then we need the metal. Hi, Dusk. 
How did you end up here? I don't know. Helga, you had metal, yes? So what we do here is be very clever. We throw the metal at dusk, then we walk a little bit, we then pick up the metal, then we can put it into dusk's inventory. Then we can ride dusk into the sunset and everyone is happy. And we're still going to need some more metal by the looks of it. So who else has metal here? It'll be um, either Cabbage or Bonnie, I imagine, because they're the original ones. Okay, uh, we'll, we're also going to need the obsidian. It's a good chance. Yep, I can't move again. Dusk is now over there, though, so it's just... I'll be back in a second. So I've sorted all this out. We return with a bit of a um, change of ideas. Because I realised something, that um, right now, if we keep on going as we are, we're going to spend so much time ferrying metal, it'll be unbelievable, I've decided to make a nice little forge for the currently unnamed base. Remember, comments below for any, any ideas. Purely because, two reasons. I, once you um, smelt metal, you're essentially halving the white as you are as two metal become one bar, and thankfully, um, one bar has the same weight as one metal, so you're essentially halving the weight. And secondly, it's going to make charcoal even if it burns in a forge. So you may as well have the forge running 24-7, as opposed to a campfire. The one problem was this did cost me like a hundred stone, and, has and of course has set me back a little bit in terms of keratin. That's the other thing we're going to do. I'm going to bring some keratin over here so that we can make the cementing paste here rather than going all the way over to the base and such to do that because that seems like a better idea. Also look how much gunpowder we've made just from being online, that's fantastic. So right now we almost have enough metal, we're a little bit off and we don't have anywhere near enough regular stone. So what I'm going to be doing now is going on a bit of a mining trip, I'll take one of the females so I've got um, the mate bonus because I've been told that mate... See this thing, right now the mate bonus is so kind of secretive what it actually does because the devs kind of hint towards what it actually does and then only in a patch occasion they tell us but a lot of people have figured out that it does actually speed up the leveling process as well so you may as well if you ever go on a harvesting trip or hunting trip make sure, make sure the animals you bring get the mate bonus so right now I'm just going to get some stone get some metal which is easy enough since you get metal from regular stone with these things and probably just honestly throw away the flint because we've got so much of it I don't quite know how much cementing paste we need, so what I'm going to do is get maximum carrying capacity right now full of metal and stone on these two lovely anklos, and then I will bring the keratin over and start making the cementing paste. We also need a bit more obsidian, it turns out. I'm a little bit low on that, so we are going to have to go further up, and honestly, I've only harvested one obsidian node of these things. It looks like with the... Um Oops, I was accidentally called everyone, I think. There we go. I was meant to just stop Helga for a second, but actually now I think about it, I'm going to take her anyway. Because I, I don't quite want to level 6, you know, following me into an area which could have very strong predators. But then I thought to myself, these things can kill Rexes on their own, so it really doesn't really, it doesn't really matter too much if one of them is a little bit low level. So I'll be back in a second once I find a nice obsidian mo um, node to mine. Well, time to prove our point about killing Rexes. Apparently Barry didn't quite get the call to stop following, but here we are versus Rex, and surely it's under attack by an Argentavis. Come on, guys. I'm kind of in the way, which I'm okay with, because, um, since my lovely cabbage here is such high level. You can't defeat the, um, the pack. This might be quite quite a high level Rex. Wow, level 60 Rex. Ha ha ha! I think these are quickly becoming, you know, in my top five for animals. Oh look, a metal node. Let's see how well it does with the metal. Okay, so like I say, I've, I've, I haven't really harvested many metal or obsidian nodes. I've got one obsidian node, and I think maybe two or three regular metal nodes to get all that metal. The thing is, I'm almost certain you get more from the ankylo as what you would do with your pickaxe. And faster. So let's figure, look at that. Three hits, we get 41 metal. That's so darn quick and of course doesn't break our items yeah I don't know why I didn't tame one of these again sooner I mean I had one before and everything I just didn't tame them for so long I don't know why because how much time I could have saved here's some stone and you get some more health because your health is one of your best aspects and you too 
I'm increasing melee damage on Little Cabbage here, so we can get faster um, harvesting and, of course, be the leader of the pack and destroy huge animals like the Rex. Okay, let's see if we can find an obsidian node. There we are. I knew I'd find them eventually, after killing several Argentavis on the way. Let's see how well we do versus the obsidian rock. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm, I'm sure you can get obsidian. There we go. I was going to say, I know you can get obsidian from these things. Was we hitting the wrong rock? Because suddenly we got 11 out of nowhere. Well, this is weird. It seems like you only get them in the last few swings. Still more than more than what I would get, since you don't get much at all from these things. Two more obsidian, and... I think now we have almost 200 metal already. That's ridiculous. There we are. So that's no... Well, I'm looking to get about 200 obsidian. Well, I'd say 120, just so we can make 60 for definite. So let's get the metal and stone out of here, and let's give it to one of my pets. Um, Barry, it's a good job you came, because Helga's already filled up. So there's your stone, and there's your metal. And let's carry... Why am I holding oil? Okay, we need to really sort out my inventory at some stage. Onwards! Oh, I see an obsidian over there already. Fantastic. Will the Argentavis try to stop us? That's the question. If it does, I would say it's pretty darn silly, because I've just killed about five of them on the way. And a Rex. There it is. I just went a bit off. Hello, Arden Davis. We're just here to get some, some um, obsidian. No need to attack us. Nom, nom, nom. Wait. Oh. How much meat? Wait, do I have meat on me? Well, apparently I did. I didn't realise I had any meat on me at all, but apparently I do. Any obsidian up here? Haven't looked up here for a while. Regular stone. Lots of regular stone. I think that might be obsidian there. It could just be a regular rock formation. Um, I'll probably just skip ahead now, honestly. Y you've already seen what I'm doing, and I'm just going to keep on doing this until I've got enough stuff. And then we're pretty much there. I mean, all we need then is stone, and that's just easy as hell to get. Yay, obsidian. It is obsidian. Fantastic. It's three of them, in fact. Let's see how much we get. Please stop doing the slow attack and do the regular attack. It's much there we go. So much flint. Isn't it bizarre that you get almost all the obsidian in the last attack, but almost none until then? It's like the last two attacks. I mean, of course, if it's small, that means you get the attack straight away. Unless, perhaps, I'm hitting things next to it before it, so it's got like a little priority system? Maybe. Oh, almost filled again. Where is Helga? I'm guessing behind that rock. We'll go and get her in a second. She can defend herself until then. Me and Barry are having a boys' night out. So there's another... 80... Wow, okay, yeah, we've, we've pretty much got enough already then. Since Helga's got another... Um, fair bit on her. There we are. And I'll be back in a second once we get back with the obsidian. Well, here we are once more, starting to smelt up the metal and count how much obsidian I actually now have. So, 44 obsidian there, let's go and put that in either Dusk or Torch. So we can carry it all back nicely. Ooh, I need to get you some fresh meat. That's what I need to do. Uh, I didn't take, did, who did I take? I took Barry and Helga, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Helga, what have you got? Lots of stone, though. Actually, a lot more stone than I first thought. Um, that's probably a bit too much for me to... Oh, no, it can still move. Yep, that's good. So, hopefully, we'll have enough stone to at least start the cementing paste. Um, I don't quite know how much we need, because I didn't check how much polymer we need. But I'm going to estimate we're going to probably need about 80 to 100, since that's how much you normally kind of need. We have, of course, all the keratin back at the base, so although I will try to make cementing paste here next time, for now I think it'd be best just to carry the stone back and make it at the base, at a um, memorial plateau. I just tried to put stone in the smelter. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why, but I did. Helga, do you have any obsidian on you? No, you don't. Okay. I thought you did, but you don't. Yeah, 
You have that many. Can I move? Yes, I can. Okay, let's give this a torch. And then let's skip ahead, since it's going to be a while, and we'll check how much we actually need. If we're lucky, we might just need about 40... So we might, need, we might need 80 obsidian, 80 cementing paste. That's if we need 40 polymer. However, I really can't remember how much we need, sadly. Oh, cabbage, you leveled up. Well done. Here's some more melee damage for you. And, okay, there we go. Can I move with all that stone? I can. Fantastic. Okay, so back in a second, once everything's smelted, and we can get the stone over to Memorial Plateau for its final, um, its final form. Well, let's see just how much we actually need of everything. Um, by the looks of it, I did have a quick look-see on the forum, um, on the wiki, just because, well, I was waiting for metal to smelt, and it's not the most exciting thing in the world, and even with the two things smelting away. How much have we got here? Ooh, got a lot more here than I actually thought we did. That's pretty darn awesome. I'll have to put out the fire now, though. So let's see how much we need. So for the polymer, we need 20 polymer, it turns out, which isn't actually anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. So we can put the obsidian straight in. Do we have any cementing paste left over from last time? Apparently we don't. That's a shame. Put the metal in as well. So let's see then. So it's in structures, electrical defences. We need 20 polymer, 50 paste, and 140 metal, which we've got very close to already. And then, then the electronics, we can actually start then, couldn't we? Uh, electronics are made of pearls and metal. So, we, yeah, okay so, okay, so we need 70 of those, so let's start producing them now then. Since we have all the pearls we need, we just need some metal. Yoink. Then we've got another 70 plus metal coming from there, so we might need a little bit more metal overall, but not too much. That's not, so that won't be anything too difficult. Okay, so sadly we can't craft all, otherwise we'd craft far too many, so let's just stop for a second. How do you clear this? There's a button, isn't it? Yep, there we go. So, 17, so we need 55 more. Take away one. Take away two. Take away three. Take away four. Take away five. You can't click it fast enough, that's the problem. Oh, apparently this is easier. There we go. I think we'll make one over, because I wasn't counting very very um, quick, quickly, but that should make us 70. So that's that sorted out. So once again, let's go to the next piece then. So structures, electronic... Uh, 140 metal that we can do kind of passively. The cementing paste will be annoying, so will the polymer. So let's do the polymer first, since that's easy enough. So we need 40 cementing paste for that. We definitely have enough keratin, so we've got the keratin here and some more keratin still spare, like before. We have 20 there, I think we have 100 and something. Oh, yep, we have 70 there, but we have some keratin over there. I definitely have the 400 apparently required, so that's okay. Whoopsie daisy. So back in a second once I've brought over all the stone and all of the keratin. So we can start work on that too. We return, and you've done that twice now, Dusk. Can you please explain to me why you float? Okay, so we've got all this lovely keratin. I told you I had enough. I, that was me checking all the animals I've been hunting on recently. And Torch, you should have the stone I require. So I'll take that. We don't actually need that obsidian. Oh, I can actually carry a bit more, can I? Excellent. Excellent. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I definitely don't have enough stone, it turns out. I was looking at how much we need cementing paste-wise. We definitely are going to need to get some more stone from the ankylos, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do is, once I've used up all the stone here, I'm actually going to bring the keratin down there, rather than bringing the stone up here. It's just 20 times easier. Then another 10 for you, and... Uh, put that in there, and put this in the last one. I'm hoping I have enough at least for the polymer. I'm not sure if I'll even have enough for that, since we need 20, so we need 40 cementing paste, because each polymer costs 2 obsidian and 2 cementing paste. I don't think we'll have enough. Did you, you didn't have any stone on you, did you? No. That's a shame. Just checking for stone anywhere randomly. Because knowing me, I've probably got some stone just stashed away somewhere. Apparently I'm starving again. Whoops. Ah, uh, it's only three per that much. That's so... Cementing paste is so boring to make. 
got 11 from you, we're going to have... Yeah, nowhere near enough. Okay, let's bring the keratin down there then. Like I said, and we'll make the cementing paste there. And I might as well leave the um, engine running upstairs just because, well, may as well. As each gasoline cost, each gasoline gives 15 minutes in the fabricator, or I think it's, I think it's around about um, one hour in the generator, the electric um, engine. So, if you're not going to turn it off, so if you're not going to take f 15 minutes, you might as well leave it on just for ease's sake. Really, I can make one more, and that's it. So how much have I got in total then? Cementing paste. Tw wow. 24 out of all of that. That is terrible. Okay, so back in a second. Over there, since we need to grab the metal anyway, I just need to go and farm some more stone. Okay, I think I may finally have enough of the stuff. And we've been getting a lot, lot more metal as well. I've already put 60-odd um, metal into Dusk. And we have more metal on the smelt right now. I'm currently testing out spark powder instead of wood because, well... It is a lot um, lighter to carry around, but I don't think it actually increases the speed or anything of, um, of the burning. But I'll, I would like to see how well it actually does, how long it burns for and such. So far it does quite well. The reason why I say this, because of how, how much spare spark powder we have at the moment isn't even funny. It's kind of ridiculous. So, yeah, I'll be right back once I've got all the metal sorted. Let's start putting stuff into torch, I think. Once I've got all the, the metal sorted, I think I've almost got enough now. Um, Dusk has 60, Torch has 17, oh sorry, 13 now. We have about 50 on the 50 plus on the smelt. Um, do we get any more from that last run? No, yeah, that was from that last run. And we, I think I might have enough cementing paste if we include what's already there back at home. So we've got 107 here, I'm not quite sure how many we actually need. But that'll at least be enough. Actually, no, I do know how much we need. 40 plus... Not, yeah, 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 we have more than enough. I just thought, yeah, of course we have enough. Okay, yeah, so we have enough for everything then. So let's start using the stone once again for spark powder. More spark powder for more gunpowder. Something to do while I wait, I suppose. Make some more gunpowder. We certainly have enough of all the resources for it down here. This is actually fantastic. I should be able to make at least 100 shots the next time I go to actually produce um, ammo, which is fantastic. So my rifle can actually be used more sparingly. It actually takes damage quite quickly, which is getting me a little bit worried. So I might stop using it for a while now until the big fight. So, uh, yeah, this should be the last Be right back. Hopefully. It's time, Sir and Sirettes. I think I have everything I need. I've got um, 133 metal, I think. Yeah, 133 metal on Dusk. A little bit more on um, our little baby behind us, since I did a little bit more mining off camera, because why not? I was kind of bored. And everything is sorted over here. I should also have enough cementing paste and enough obsidian. I can't think of anything I'm currently forgetting. All I know is, well, I am going to have to get ammo for the, for the automated gun, but of course I'll just steal that from my rifle. So let's get half of it and let's sort out everything we need then. Um, my torch would be great right now. Actually, no! Let's use my gun's flashlight. And... Oh, I can't turn on the... Really, I fell here again? Twice in one episode? You know, falling here once is bad. Falling here twice is actually terrible. Okay, don't need any of that. This is so creepy in the dark. This, this can make for a very weird horror game. Dinosaur horror game. Does it exist anywhere? It should. I do not know that... The, oh, I was going to say, the generator was producing that light, and it automatically turned on the light. Okay, so accidentally turned it off and on, so all that power was wasted. Fantastic. <laughs> Good start. Put the cementing paste in. There we go. We've got the obsidian in here, haven't we? Yes, okay. So, we need 20 of these. Take away one. There we go. That'll make 20. Once we're done with that, we need everything else. So, we need 140 me metal ingots. I, ha of course, haven't got all the metal with me here, so I'll get some more in a second. And we need... That's it. Okay, so all we need is the metal. Let's quickly grab that off Dusk. Thank you. That should be... I shouldn't be um, overloaded. Overburdened. Over. This took way longer than it should have, by the way. This took, I'd say, about now coming up, up to two hours. Even with the speeding up of getting the stone, it still took a very, very long time. And we have the auto turret. 
fantastic. Two hundred experience probably should have gave me more, honestly. After the, if we have spare. I'll finally wish a spare cementing base for next time. That's wonderful. Let's put you in the place of the bow for now, and so this can be picked up once you place it. So it doesn't really matter too much where I place it. Let's just place it here because why not? Okay, it's made the connection. It's powered. Turn on. Ooh. How the hell do I use you? Okay, so we need the advanced rifle ammo, which should be... Oh, crud. It's all stuck in the gun, isn't it? You can't actually take it out of the sh the gun. <sighs> Am I really going to have to go back and get gunpowder? I'm going to have to go back and get the gunpowder I've to be making. Back in a second. Alright, I've got the gunpowder. I've just grabbed one stack quickly out of the mor out of the mortar and pestle. Hopefully that'll be enough. Well, it certainly should be, because, well, it's a hundred gunpowder. Which should make about... Uh, fifth, it's about 16, I'd imagine, shots? I don't know, I'm not really doing math in my head right now. Gunpowder goes on, you turn on, weapons, ammo, make me all the... So, 18, I was a little bit lower. Come on, give me your ammo. There we go. Okay, let's put it in here before I accidentally reload it into the gun. Okay. So, how do I do this then? So, okay, okay. So, Oh, so it acts like a... A dinosaur. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it's AI set up. So you can pick it up here. Range. Only players. It's now on all targets. Let's have let's have no warning. So it should attack wild animals, I'd imagine. So let's go on dusk and let's grab a dodo or a dilo or something. I'm not sure if it actually even hits um, neutral animals. I imagine it would definitely hit a carnivore. Something which is threatening like a um, dilo. It might leave them um, dodos alone. I I wish it didn't use ammo. I, I wish perhaps like an automated stone thrower or something. Because that would be amazing. I would love to have them around the base just to kill anything that comes, comes close. But I can't afford to keep a gun going. I'm also not sure how fast this thing shoots. So I really don't know any of that. Um, have I really killed all the dilos recently? I mean, I know I did, but I thought I'd have respawned by now. This place was crawling with dilos earlier. Finally, we found the little Dilo who is willing to sacrifice himself, I mean, to donate himself for science. We have our gun currently online with the correct configuration, because it dawned on me once I left that was an incorrect one. We've also put the Dodo down there, you can just about see it. Actually, can we put the... Ooh! What's that? Did I just drop the... Oh, well, apparently... Don't activate the spyglass when you're holding something. I'll get the egg afterwards. I wonder what egg that is. I guess it's this little Stegosaurus. Is? I put the... There's a dodo there. Huh. Yeah, of course, Um, almost all animals... Well, they they already did drop eggs, but but um, now they drop more eggs since um they can. Okay, so I've put the dodo down there, and we've set it to the correct setting, which is the aggressive to everything. Let's see how long it takes for it to aggro. There it goes. Oh, that was perfect. D d d three shots. Well done. Okay, well that was actually pretty good. Very accurate. Well done. Um, I think one of the shots missed, but um, so two shots to kill a dialer. That's not bad. That's not too bad. I mean, it, it, it was only level six, so I imagine it's sh it's hitting for about fifty. But I'm happy with that. So that that's that, sir and sirette. We've got our lovely automated gun. We have everything set up here now for for electricity, like before, and our gunpowder um, little base over there is swinging along. So if you do have a name, once again, feel free to leave it in the description, in, sorry, in the comments, and thank you so much for watching, and if you have enjoyed watching Dusk Poop and the, the, the episode itself, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that ARK is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, please do take care, until next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.